as we enter into the next phase, our balance phase, we're going to come into it by way of Utkatasana. So bend your knees, drop your hips, take your arms up into the sky above you. For standing eagle, the right arm comes underneath, the right leg steps up and over. Just breathe as you squeeze your two legs together and you squeeze your arms together. The spine is nice and long and your breath is audible. You want to be able to hear your breath. So the breath is the largest energy. Now take one more breath in. As you exhale, release, sweep high, breathe in a chair. Eagle on the other side, left arm under, left leg up and over. Again, you're engaging the outer left leg into the outer right leg. You're engaging the bottom left arm up into the top right arm. The top of your head is lengthening up towards the ceiling and your breath is audible. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, release, sweep up to chair and do the first side, right arm under, right leg up and over. At this stage, you have a really nice momentum to your breath and you want to continue to get behind your in-breath, complete the in-breath and really kick all of that used breath out. Now it becomes an internalization, an inner focus. Let's sweep up into chair, breathe in, and one more time. Now left arm under, left leg up and over. Standing eagle. Three big breaths. Excellent. Now sweep all the way up to standing. Look up at your hands, then draw them right over your heart space. Draw your right knee up and catch it. Bring your left arm out like a wing. And as you open the right knee right, take your left arm left. To challenge your balance, you can look over your left hand. Breathing deeply, breathing fully, and breathing completely. As you come back to center, keep your knee hovering at hip level. Take both of your arms up, breathe in, and move into airplane pose as you breathe out. Now there's a bit of an upward dog in your heart, in your chest. Both of those arms are outstretched as if you were pressing them into two end tables. Your right leg, your back leg, it's strong and it's fired up like you're holding up the wall behind you. You're breathing deeply and fully. Take one more full body breath in and then release your feet to the mat. Raise your arms up, inhale. Draw your hands to prayer as you exhale. Now the left knee comes up. You catch it. Outstretching your right arm like a wing, you open the knee left and you take your gaze right. Simple, basic, but yet incredibly effective and potent. Three big breaths. As you come back to center, keep your left knee hovering. Both arms come up, breathe in. Now we transition into airplane on this side. Once again, a, a basic uplift of the heart. She's charging forward and your left leg is reaching back. I like to think of 747 wings, big, big, big wings, outstretching, holding this up. Your body's breathing. You want to make sure you're staying connected to your breath. Take another breath in and out, and then feet front of mat. Inhale your arms up to the sky. You're going to keep your arms up high for dancer's pose on the right side. The right hand comes back. Catch the instep of your foot. Now bring your knees together, lengthen upright, and then teeter your heart down to your hip level. As you breathe, kick the right shin back, charge the left arm forwards for three big breaths. One. Two, with a little emphasis, reach, and then come up. Windmill the left arm back, catch the instep of the left foot. Once again, knees together, lengthen up, and teeter forward into the pose. 
reaching forwards with the right arm, kicking back with the left shin. Three big breaths now. One, two, a little bit more emphasis, and return. Windmill the right arm back. Let's take the first side again. Breathe in and enter into the pose. What makes this process so doable across the board is it's smooth and it's fluid transitions. It's accessible alignment cues, right? And it's basic postures linked together. Let's slowly come up. The left arm back, the right arm high. This will be your final dancer's pose. Go ahead and teeter in with. Kicking your left shin back. Outstretching your right arm. Remembering your intention. Okay, guys, come all the way up. Well done. Both arms high, breathe in. Then bring your hands to prayer. Now, to conclude our balance series, we'll take tree pose. Draw the right foot up. Place that foot high on your standing left leg. Let your two hands join in prayer. Stay here or to grow your limbs, your arms come up above you. Now press your hands together. Interlace your fingers and spin the heels of your hands high. Give yourself three full breaths. Bring your hands to prayer and release your right foot to the mat. Now the left knee steps up, high on your inner right thigh. Let your two hands come to prayer. Once again, each time we return our hands to our heart center, it's an opportunity for us to also recenter, to represence, to recognize, to remember, and then grow your limbs up into the sky above you. Press your hands together, interlace your fingers, and shoot the heels of your hands high. You know, an old teacher would, used, used to tell me, in order to know how, all you got to do is be in the now. Everything that we need is within us right now. As you bring your hands to prayer, set your feet together, allow your arms to rest by your sides.